Hey guys, uh, Spiritual Path Seeker here with another video on um, Mid Atlantic Rocks. These are from Baltimore and uh, in an area called the Piedmont. And uh, these are all pegmatites, which is made of feldspar, quartz, and uh, muscovite, also known as mica. So, the star of the show today is this piece, which is uh, a, uh, a crystal of feldspar. Uh, you can see how it how it it reflects. Uh, it's just like glass almost, and it's just it's just a beautiful piece. All these angles, and and there's all sorts of other angles on the rock, uh, but. Uh, what we're going to really focus on here is just the bottom. And this is where it's going to turn green under the, under the light. So even though it's, it, it's a little lighter color than the, the top in here, but, um, and, but also this white part, which where the feldspar is not as uh, crystallized will also be turning um, green and so we'll keep that one there like that and I threw away these in for a bonus these are just regular old pegmatite from the same location and uh, they also turn green so let's let's play with this a little bit with the light on and then I'll do with the light off this is my ultraviolet light and you can see that that the UV L LW means long wave, and UVSW means short wave. That's the wavelength of the light. It's um, so now. What I'll do is I'll, the long wave doesn't make it as much happen, but let me. Just, I learned something today. Okay, so that is the is on. Don't never look directly at ultraviolet light. So if I try to point it straight at that rock, if I'd been out in the field, I wouldn't have seen this. But if you kind of play with it a little bit. Um, if I if I come at it from the side, sort of, let's see if I can get that to work. Yeah, or, or up here maybe. Um, yeah, there you can see that's turning green there, even though it's long wave. There, there's a green green uh, in the middle there. Okay, and this is just with the light on. So, and again with these guys you can still see there's a little green in that rock there that i'm pointing at and you know and you know this one too so so but the long wave doesn't do as much but it's it's i think you can make you can probably see from a longer distance though but i think you have to hit the rock like um not to, straight on now i'm going to do the short wave okay just in the light still <laughs> But you can see the short wave just makes, <laughs> see how it makes the, uh, it, it just, it's just much, <laughs> much more effective, but you have to hold it closer. And then, and then here, here's your other pegmatite and the little guy and this guy, but okay. So now what I'll do is I'll turn the light out. Um, Okay, so, oops, totally black, right? <laughs> That's why I call it black light, so. Um, okay, here's our piece of feldspar again. See how it's shining, you can actually see how it's shining off of there, just like that. But anyway, it's all, it's, I'm, I don't know why it's blurry there. I'm, I'll, st I'll get back from it somewhat. So there you go, that, that piece of feldspar crystal. And the, the lower right part is the part that's the regular crystal and the upper, Left part is the regular, it's just pegmatite, but somehow it's all got it in there. And then the other rocks that I showed you there, up, oh, I better get back further, I guess, all glow green too. And this is all from local. I used to think I would have to go all the way up to Franklin, New Jersey to get cool fluorescent rocks, but it turns out no, they're right here. Though I had to go to a couple of different uh, places. I went to uh, like another place where the, there's just feldspar all over the place and pegmatite, none of it glowed. <laughs> so 
they don't all glow. You have to keep looking and keep looking and then finally you strike. <laughs> so, all right, and then I'll just turn the light on again so you can see what we were looking at again. They just look like ordinary rocks now, <laughs> right? But uh, under the under ultraviolet light, they look cool. So that's that for today. Keep looking down.